In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the library TFT ESPI to control a TFT screen with the microcontroller ESP32C3 and the microcontroller RP2040 from Seed Studio Cyric Xiao. The TFT screen used the cheap ILI9341 as the driver. First, let's talk about how I'm going to connect the microcontroller pin to the TFT pins. We are using the SPI protocol, and this is how I'm going to configure the pins. For the ESP2C3, we also have to define the D pins. And for example, the pin D10 is 10, the pin D9 is 9, the pin D8 is 8, but the pin D7 is 20, the pin D6 is 21, etc, etc. For chip select, I'm going to use pin D6. For reset, I'm going to use pin D5. For data control, I'm going to use pin D4. For the clock, I'm going to use pin D8. For MISO, I'm going to use pin D9. And for MOSI, I'm going to use pin D10. In this picture, you can see my wiring. I connected the pin for the TFT, and I also connected the pins to access the SD card part of the TFT. Now it's time to configure the library TFT ESPI. Using the Arduino IDE, I can find where is the Arduino library folder. The library is in this folder. In this PowerShell console, I switched the library folder and I executed the git clone command with the URL of the repo of the library TFT ESPI. If I execute a dir command, I can see the file user setup select.h. This file allowed to select the microcontroller we are going to use with the library. I'm going to edit this file with VS Code. In line 30, we are including the default setup, which we do not want to use. I'm going to command this line. I'm going to search for the configuration for the ESP2C3 with driver ILI9341. I'm going to uncommand this line because I want to use the ESP232C3 with TFT driver ILI9341. I'm going to copy the file path in the clipboard and save my changes. And now I'm going to edit this file. In this file, this is the part I changed. First, I defined the pins D0 to D10. And here I'm defining the wiring as I talked about earlier. Chip select, reset, data control, clock, MISO, and MOSI. From now on, the TFT ESPI library is configured to use an ESP32C3 microcontroller with my specific wiring. From any Arduino sketch that reference the TFT ESPI library, my configuration will be used. Here I am including the header file then we create the TFT object. And in my setup, I call tft.begin. Now I'm going to show you how to configure the microcontroller RP2040. The pin on the microcontroller are going to be exactly the same. This is because I use the brand Seed Studio and the same series of microcontroller named Xiao. Let's configure the library. Let's go back to our file user setup select.h. And now I'm going to command this line because I don't need it anymore. I want to use this line, which is the line for the RP2040 for TFT with driver ILI9341. These two lines are for more advanced configuration, which we do not want to use for today. Now I need to edit this file. In this file, 
for the RP2040, I do not need to define the D pin. They are already defined. All I need to define is my wiring, chip select, reset, data control, clock, meso, and mosey.